Gonna do a quick video on how to unclog a drain. So this is my drain that's clogged up. The uh, water comes up out of there when I run the kitchen sink. Uh, follow that. The kitchen sink is up this pipe here upstairs. And I have a service port right there on the pipe. So I went to the rental store and I rented this power auger to uh, clear out the drain. Went ahead and plugged it in, made sure my GFI is on. Um, this bulb here is what actually turns on the unit. I have a forward and reverse switch right on the back of the motor. So I'm going to put that on forward, push this bulb, make sure it works. And there it goes. Okay, I've had to do this before. I'm going to suggest you wear some rubber gloves because when you pull this cable back out, it's going to be very dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cap. My crescent wrench. This really shouldn't take too long. So I've already told everybody upstairs not to run the sink. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, the rental guy says to keep this unit close to the drain so that it doesn't kink it up. Apparently if you have it far away from your hole, it will want to kink the cable and then they will want to charge you money. So I'm sticking that down into the drain hole. See it's going in with no problems. And my hands are already filthy, so that's definitely a good thing I got the gloves on. Feels like I may have already hit a little bit of a snag there. So I'm going to tighten up the clamp on the auger head. Get my plunger ball here. Give it a spin. It seems to be slipping. Tighten that up a little bit. It's a little bit of a process. Let's see if I can feed some more in there yet. Seems to be held up right there. <clears throat> I didn't take off that glove because it's grabbing the cable and I don't want to. I'm trying to get that to grab. Seems to be a challenge. Thank you. 
I got it taking a little more there. Finally. Back that nut off. I'll see if I can jam some more in there. point you're probably thinking it might be easier just to call a plumber gonna keep doing this at some point I'll probably get enough video recorded that I will edit it to get rid of some of this So I'm letting it spin. I'm just feeding some in. I do not have my jam nut tightened up. That seems to be the only way to get that in there. Okay, so I've about emptied the spool out on this thing. Uh, you can see that it's pretty much empty there. It's all gone down, it's ran, hopefully. Well, it's 50 foot, so should be about most of the way out of the house. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the motor to reverse, pull it all back slowly, and then uh, see how we did.
Okay. Install the cap. <clears throat> Find something to wipe my hands off with. <clears throat> Probably a work shirt. What done? Oh, I did, but the rubber gloves are getting caught up in the cable, so. Mm -hmm. What help do you need? Help do I need? None. I'm testing it to see if it works. I'm making a mess of my sink. Okay, I'll let that run for a minute and see how we did. <clears throat> so I got to the point that with full water, after about four or five minutes, it would be running up out of this floor drain. So this project here is all the time deal you just lift that up and you get the big clump of grossness this is where the rubber gloves are really handy pull it off of the grating like said drop grating back in In there, ready for the next one on that. So that's usually good for about six months, then they got that all clogged up again. <clears throat> 